Okay, so now what we want to do is make multiple copies of that one image. But before we do that, you know, um, Cricut only allow you to print, what, 6.75 width and 9.25 height. So you have to do, like, get a square, unlock the box on it, go to edit, and then change the width to 6.75. And then you want to change the height to... 9.25 and then you should get a box like this now what you want to do is make that image small enough to fit onto that yeah, let's see let's do 2.338 width and 1.698 height Okay, so those are small enough to fit onto here. So we're going to make sure we send this box to the back. So you're going to go to Arrange and send to back. Okay, so this is how it's looking. So you just have to line all your stuff up, make all your stuff fit on this one little box. That's how you're going to get your print. So you're going to layer one... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine. I don't know how many I'm going to be able to get on there. I'm just duplicate a whole bunch of them. Then I'm going to line them up. I had to turn that one to the side. Put that one over here somewhere. And bring this one right here. Okay, so we just got to line them up on this box. We got to get them on there as close as we can, but not touching. But we want all of them on there. So you can get you some over here on the side. Just turn them a certain kind of way and squeeze them in there some way. Okay, so now you do not need this box. So you're gonna delete that, but you can highlight all your stuff and you're going to attach, okay? And then you're going to go to make it. And this is how it should look. And then I sometimes turn my bleed off, but you can leave yours on. It's all depending on what you want to do. And uh, that should help. You go to print. You find your printer. And then it'll find your printer. You'll push your printer. So when it get there to you to select your printer, whatever printer you're using wouldn't be named at the top. And if that's the right printer, you'll just say print. And then wait on the machine to print it out for you. Then you'll load it onto your mat. So now I sent the images over to the printer. And maybe I did them super small. <laughs> I mean, like, but you don't want your tag just big either. So we're just gonna see how it cut. And I forgot to turn the bleed off because I don't want mine to run it together, but we're gonna still just see how it, it cut. Excuse me. Okay, let's see. Okay, so we got them cut out. Now we're just going to see what Cricut cut them. I'm praying it do, girl. But if not, you can always buy a hole puncher. Okay, well, maybe we don't need the heat press. Look what I just found. I forgot I had these. So these are some self adhesive sheets. So we might not need this one. This one is super thick anyway. This one would have made the car stock super thick. So we're going to try the self-stick ones. 
first. And I got these from Walmart. So I guess you just pretty much do them the same way. This one looks like, like this is like has a, a white backing. And then it has this thing up top here. Let me read the instructions more. Looks like it should be simple though. This part is where you pull. Okay, cool. Okay, let's try this out. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Wait a minute. Maybe, maybe that part would have been pulled out first and you lay it on something then. Hell, I don't know. I don't know. Don't quote me on nothing, honey. I just be trying. But, you know, I know better next time if this shit don't work. Ooh, Lord, I'm nervous. She. Yeah, that didn't work. Shit. Sheesh. That's what the tab was for. I guarantee you money. That's what it was for. Shit, I'm pulling up everything but what I need to pull up. Okay, so we're going to try it again. <laughs> That's like I done fucked up. It might not though. We can we can try to run it and let's just see what it do. And if if we did, we know better next time. Now with the cut this on now, don't quote me. We just trying. But we can always use photo paper too, so this is too much work. I would use a pretty photo paper. That makes more sense to me. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and um load this in my cricket. I'm going to go ahead and be printing out another one just in case. That way, we can just see what it looks like in the Cricut Finding Lines on its own, honey. So I'm just line this up on the mat. And pray for the best. Now, what settings? I probably cut it on a 100% um, cardstock or something. I don't know. Let's try a 100-pound card stock and see what to cut it on that. And if not, we know not, and we'll try the next sheet. So I'm going to cut it on a 100-pound card stock, and I put more pressure. So let's just see what it do. Let's just keep your fingers crossed, crew. I hope it cut it because, yeah. If not, then I'm going to just use photo paper and silver spray. That'll be prettier anyway to me because then I can use the sublimation printer on photo paper and then my stuff will be pretty and shiny. you make me and they got like a laminate on it it's so pretty so yeah i was trying to recreate <laughs> my hair is a tad bigger I think. okay so a quick cutting let's just pray i had a good setting and it does show that it does got a cut but it cut through it did not um okay well it didn't cut through for real, I might have to push them out. So, I did more, um, I did card stock, and then I did do more pressure with the cut setting part. But it just, it didn't cut. It's like I'm gonna have to pull paper from behind paper, and that's not a good look. Now, when it comes to the little hole, there, there. Let's see. 
push them through there to make that work. So yeah, I mean, if I even get a hole puncher. But um, the settings, no, I haven't figured it out. So I did 100 pound card stock with the laminated pepper on it. And I did more pressure. And I did do a little hole on there, so that was a good thing. But I don't like the quality of my regular printer. I printed on the 8P, I mean HP Desk Jet 3752, the world's smallest printer. And my colors is like, you know, so I really feel like, but just wanted to help somebody too and help myself make my own tags. Now I know how, so I'm happy about that. Um, size and measurements, that's up to you. You can do whatever you want to do. You don't have to do how I did it. Just use your imagination and do what you want to do. You don't have to do nothing like you see nobody else do. Use your imagination and put your thought process together. Anyway, that's all I got for you right now. So if y'all like this video, make sure y'all hit a thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Y'all have a blessed one. Okay, I don't want to really waste a shirt, but I do want to see how it'll look. <laughs> So, I got me a tag gun. You can get these from Hobby Bobby or somewhere like that. I already had one, but Miss Sonya Craft also bought me this. And then, you just put the little plastic things inside here. Just like this. And then, let me just use my shirt I got on. And then, you put the tag where you want it to go. And then you find a hole and you stick the needle down through there like that and you push it through and you pull this little piece here so look there i got a tag <laughs> so the hole was big enough it was perfect it's not too big so i ain't gotta worry about that falling out of there who well, you know baby support me y'all have a blessing